Hey guys, welcome back to our walkthrough of classic poetry. Today I want to go over another one of my favorite poems from Sarah Teasdale called Broadway. Now this poem is a sonnet and a vignette, and if you don't know what either of those terms means, it's probably because you haven't gone through our other walkthroughs, but that's okay, you're still going to get a lot out of this poem. The last poem that we did from Sarah Teasdale in the previous walkthrough called In a Restaurant was also a sonnet and a vignette, and it's in fact very similar to this poem, which is why I'm doing these two walkthroughs back to back, because they both just describe a very brief hour that Sarah Teasdale spent with an unnamed man and a couple, and just the beautiful time that they had. So as always, it's written down below so you can follow along as I read aloud. Here's Broadway. This is the quiet hour. The theaters have gathered in their crowds, and steadily the million lights blaze on for few to see robbing the sky of stars that should be hers. A woman waits with bag and shabby furs. A somber man drifts by, and only we pass up the street unwearied, warm and free, for over us the olden magic stirs. Beneath the liquid splendor of the lights, we live a little ere the charm is spent. This night is ours of all the golden nights, the pavement and enchanted palace floor, and youth the player on the viol who sent a strain of music through an open door. It's, uh, I love that poem. Um, Sarah Teasdale and this unnamed man and the couple are on Broadway, and it's in the early 1900s, so it's just a really you know, nostalgic, fantastic, historic time in U.S. history. And they're, they're on Broadway at a time where all of the people have just gone into the theaters, right? She says the theaters have all gathered in their crowds, and yet the million lights that are on Broadway are still blazing on, except that there's nobody there to view them. She said the million lights blaze on for few to see. And then she notes the various other personages that are there. You know, she says a woman is waiting with a bag and shabby furs and a somber man is drifting by, but they're not really taking advantage of the beauty um, and the, the special you know, time of just being on Broadway with the million lights but no people around. She says, only we pass up the street unwearied, warm and free, for over us the old in magic stirs. She says, because of the fact that they're just, you know, in love, that they're, they're just marveling at, at the scene that they found themselves in. And I love how she realizes, even during the, the experience, how fleeting of a thing it is. Because she says, beneath the liquid splendor of the lights, we live a little ere the charm is spent. And ere is just an old-fashioned way of saying before. So she even recognizes while she's having the experience, you know, how, how short-lived it's going to be. She says, we live a little before the charm is spent. And then, you know, obviously the theaters are going to empty out their crowds. It's going to go back to normal and the experience is going to be over. And so she's taken the time to just carve out that brief slice of life and, and you know, commemorate it with a poem. And if you've gone through the walkthrough uh, that we just did called In a Restaurant, you can kind of see the similarities where in both poems she says that it's just a brief hour-long experience. You know, in a restaurant she says the hour went by, we rose and turned to go. And in this poem, Broadway, she even starts off by saying this is the quiet hour. So she just takes the time to try to commemorate and capture these brief experiences that she had that were just magical and special. And uh, that's one of the reasons why the vignettes of Sarah Teasdale are just so fantastic. Not only that, but they're actually sonnets as well, which just makes them such, uh, such beautiful, well-written poetry because it's, it's very difficult to do. Uh, first of all to write sonnets and then to do them in vignettes where she's just capturing you know a brief slice of life it's quite a difficult thing to do so she's just a fantastic poet and I encourage you to uh, read more of her work if you get the chance we're gonna go over a lot more of her poetry probably in this walkthrough so I look forward to seeing you then